Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Defend the Rook, a roguelike tower defense strategy RPG, which all of that together is extremely music to my ears. I've heard it's a, a deep customizable kind of an experience as well, which is also music to my ears. So hey, let us get in and check out what the heck we... Wow, just right in with when you hit the tutorial there. Uh, what is going on here? So... This is the Rook. Defend it at all costs. If it's destroyed, the game is over. Fair. Cool. I <laughs> End turn? Okay, so I can move it. All right. To move uh, to an available blue tile, click. Move. Easy. Orders the unit to do nothing to the next turn. Gotcha. Well, he just scoots. He just zips on up there. So, okay. So the Rook has the ability to attack by itself as well, which... All right, good deal. Not enough to kill. Can I move? No, sir. The wave of enemies is coming, Magister. Well, all right. Okay, so we've got ourselves a couple little fantasy heroes here. We got ourselves a knight, a knight, a thief, and a, a, a mage, I can only assume here. Do they all have their own things? At the end of your turn, adjacent heroes and contraptions gain plus three armor. That's, that's your thing. At the end of your turn, if the rogue is on a disabled trap, rearm it. If the sorcerer did not move this turn, gain four temp armor. Okay. Can I attack anyone without moving? I can attack you without moving. No, no, she's moving right there. Heck. Well, I feel like it's not going to be very logical to... Uh, Wait, can we move here and then attack? Yes. All right, we'll do that. You'll get up here. And you, I can only imagine you have to go all the way. Yep, all the way up in the face there. Sure. The rook can move and attack, but should I? I feel like let's just move it and wait, right? If it's kind of like our, our king, more or less. Since we didn't have lethal, we might as well, you know? Oh, you can't attack from uh, melee range. That's good to know. All right, here we go. Here we go. Momentum. We can either give the... We can upgrade one hero with one of these things. Warrior gains two temp armor whenever they damage an enemy. That's very cool. Rogue gains a temp armor for every square they move. Kind of cool as well. Sorceress can attack adjacent enemies and gets plus six power while doing so. Well, that changes things. Wow, this is actually really interesting. Hmm interesting choice it's just a tutorial here but let's go for the point blank big number lots of damage why not enemies will spawn here next turn what happens if i okay i was just curious i was just curious we'll end you there we'll end you here sure and then honestly wait wait and then we will I don't know I kind of want to have you close to point blank I wonder if these guys can do their thing next turn or not like if they can they attack on the next turn we shall see they can't okay so yeah we could point blank kill or we could just kill from here which I feel like Makes a little bit more sense for right now. You get on up there. Champ. You can't do jack. So, what's your radius? So, we'll just leave you here. And turn. And turn. Yep. No point in moving anybody out in any other direction there. You'll go here so you get the temp armor for whatever that's worth for us. Ah, wait. Wait. Fine. Okay, so we can actually move through our own units, too. Cool. Well, the, the frequency at which you get to pick this is pretty rapid, and I like it a lot. If the warrior attacked an enemy last turn, they gained two temp power and three temp armor. Okay. Uh, Rogue has five extra power against enemies that are missing health. Could be good. Killing an enemy makes them explode, dealing five damage to adjacent enemies. Enemies only? Let's just go all... <laughs> I got... This feels like a bad idea. Let's go all in on the one unit. Cannon Tower. 
Ooh, towers can be placed on blocked tiles during your turn. They will automatically attack at the start of your turn. If destroyed, they will be unable for the rest of unavailable for the rest of battle. Curious. So do I want to like put them in a spot where they're going to start attacking things, but they're not going to get attacked themselves, I imagine? It's your race. So I kind of, like, I could put it right, like, here. What are you pointing at down there? Hmm. We could do something like this. But then she's probably going to get smacked by this orc here. You know, we'll, we'll do this. He's a tank. He should tank. I mean, this isn't even going to die. Do I really care? Did the thief hit you? Thief can hit you. I've decided I don't care. Let's go ham. Even move the tower up. Do a little bit of damage. So it takes this, and then at the start of my turn, it does its own damage. Attack a target within range at the start of your turn. Medium range, medium damage. Attacks all enemies in range at the start of your turn. Short range, high damage. This aspect is very unique. Like mixing the tower defense stuff on the board? Switch to lo uh, low health priority, okay. Is very, very neat. Having all of the towers on the board, and I wonder if we could get upgrades to them and stuff too. Warrior heals for two whenever they destroy an enemy. Rogue gains two. One temp armor for every tile they move. Uh, at the end of the turn, Sorceress gains four temp armor for standing next to... Let's just, let's just have a clear favorite. What if we just did that? Enemies generally prioritize the closest target, so keep in mind they may exhibit some different behaviors. Cool. So block tile is not the same as a tower tile, I bet. Not not sure. Barricade prevents enemies from passing through. At the end of your turn, taunts enemies in a two-tile radius. Wow. I seem like I cannot. But is it because I need to do this first? Okay. Oh, there's us up there. Sure. <laughs> Freeze trap. Arm when placed. When an enemy steps on this trap while armed, they take three damage. Can I really possibly? Oh, my God. That's a little dirty. That's a little dirty. And I'm here for it. Wait, and then I'll send you right here. Wait. I don't know, man, with you. I'm curious to see how this goes. It, it really does actually go just like that. Oh, my God. That is pretty cool. There's a lot going on visually to an extent where it is certainly a bit tough to process. So we should actually be able to kill this. But strategically, there is some very unique stuff going on here. Oh, he's outside the range. That was probably a mistake. Oh, well. He's probably going to get shot at at the beginning of the next turn here, and he's dead. Yep. Rogue has five power. Yeah, so we've... Okay. So we've seen all this stuff. Favoritism for fun. Okay. 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 When experience, uh, enemies are defeated by your heroes, they gain experience points. Okay. Uh, these points can be spent on improvements on your heroes. Two power or plus one move, but minus two armor. At the start of your turn, adjacent heroes get three temp power. 
Oh my god, like, we could just make it so that. Okay, so there's they're straight up. It shows all of the stuff that we have picked there. Two armor, plus one move. Let's go for the plus one move on there. Okay, so that costs that costs 15 points, and we can't get another one, theoretically. Ah. What? Gold is gained as you defeat your enemies. These points can be spent on improvements on your towers and contraptions. Wow. Uh, how? Oh, we have to hit this one first. More health on the barricade. That is interesting. Cannon tower. I mean, the freeze trap does seem really, really good. Heroes that walk over this trap gain temp armor. That doesn't make sense, but I'll take it, you know. Temp power. When a trap triggers, it explodes to deal 10 damage to enemies in a three tower radius. Huh. There is a lot going on here. Oh, you can even upgrade your rook. Just your straight up tower, main tower. Interesting. Uh, max health. Eh. Chain lightning. Two damage gives it two temporary armor. Chain lightning applies all chain lightning effects, then jumps to the closest viable target that hasn't already been hit within a two tower radius and repeat. I mean, sounds interesting. Let's move towards, uh, yeah, move towards upgrading that. Zap. Oh, wait, we just straight up have a spell now. Okay. Deal three damage to an enemy, four charges. Okay, so we'll probably want to be very, very careful with uh, when we decide that makes sense. Hmm. Go for a little bit of... So if you just go... It says enemies, right? Okay. It said enemies. It shouldn't be attacking him. Attacks all enemies. Short range, high damage. I mean, we could do something like that. What's your radius? You theoretically could attack the tower. Hmm. Kind of like the idea of putting down the barrel here. And then going for this. So he has to attack the barrel, but then he's going to get super blasted. That's kind of fun. Do we have any other attacks? I mean, we could set these traps, but I think that it might be better to wait. And again, I'm just going to put this here where it's safe. Like, there... Yeah, that's right. We technically haven't... Actually, as long as the taunt properly works, this is a good situation. Because he's going to die right there. Yep. Okay. God, this is... Okay, this is cool. Give a unit 5 temp power and armor. Cool. Or deal 10 damage to all enemies once. Oh! My god. Here's the thing. Funny enough, it doesn't matter at all. After the warrior attacks, the adjacent enemies take 6 damage. That's really good. But the sorceress does not have... It, it, it's not the sorceresses. Uh, let's see. When a low tier spell is cast, the sorceress gains 2 temp armor and 2 temp power. I will be honest. I'm finally breaking the code. I'm breaking the code. That move seems so much cooler. How many total turns are there? Do we know? I do not know if we know. Let's move you a little out of the way here. Space? Okay. 
Sure. Then she gets temp armor because she didn't move. At the end of every area is a boss. Defeating a boss causes its all of its minions to retreat, guaranteeing you epic upgrades before you move to the next area. I see. That seems fundamentally busted. That's like really OP? I... That's like really OP. Prioritizes heroes, then contraptions, then the rook. That's fun. I'm ready. Are you certain this is the right place? Sure. Worry not, your grace. The rook follows my voice? commands to the letter. You should be quite aware of that by now. Of course. I did not mean to doubt your capabilities. They are nothing short of legendary. Then I trust you will have no issues with paying a suitable price for my services. A single barrel of gems should be enough. I thought that such mundane commerce was beneath you. I bowed my head into the mud and begged for your help. Is that not enough to show my appreciation? That payment is not for my benefit, but yours. So that you understand the value of my gesture. I appreciated your humility, but that alone is not enough. Saving a kingdom will always require sacrifices. Be happy that yours is paid in gold rather than blood. You were right. Clever of them to sneak through the northern plains while your forces are occupied in the mountains. Too clever. Of course. I wonder if those pieces are enough. Do not doubt these legends, your grace. Their names might have faded from history. But their power is very much alive within my tokens. Worth noting, by the way, I cranked the volume as high as I possibly could in this game. It is, it is, it is a quiet video game. You should leave now. Let me send you back. I prefer to work alone. Unit loadout. Ah, so there's different, uh, okay. There's like four different warrior type units, four different rogue type units, four different mage type units. That's neat. Okay. That is neat indeed. You can even change up the rook. They all have different passives there. Yeah, this is super customizable. And then we can have different. Okay, we have a boom barrel. Obviously, we can't do anything new yet, but upgrades. We're kind of. Ah. So we have one already. Unlock a common upgrade for the warrior, rogue, and sorcerer. Sure. Spell loadout. Oh, even that we can change up. I imagine... Ah, this is what they're saying. We could have picked one of the... It would give me other choices. It's random, but you get to pick more choices between the loadouts. Oh, this is a neat look. I like the look on this screen right here for sure. This is that is a pretty thing. Azaz, the demon lord, grows in power the longer he remains in battle. Weaknesses: his underlings are disorganized and ex inexperienced. Okay, well we can't do anything here. Pop it on in. So he's the first in the last fight, huh? Recognize that floating castle? Magister, to what do I owe this reunion? Squashing your pitiful invasion sounded like a respectable use of my powers, Azaz. Tell me, what are you after now? Gems, my feeble conjurer. The kingdom is ripe with gemstones, and I will claim their power. Typical. I will not allow that, of course. Letting you pass would sully my reputation. Hmm. You should know by now I am unending. You will learn to fear me, Magister. I will force your eyes open. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Uh, alright. Wave, okay, so it actually has the round one wave zero five. Reactivate one of your heroes, allowing them to move and attack again. Huge. Give a hero four temp armor. Destroy a tower and deal 20 damage to enemies in a two tile radius of its former position. 
Very cool. Anyone? Okay, you can hit. If you can hit there, do it. We'll go for this, like, right in the center here. I'm assuming, yeah. We can hit you here. And we can theoretically... No, we can't even hit you. Prioritize closest. Which I... I I'm going to test this out. I'm curious if this counts as close still. Okay. I think we just send it, right? Ah, yeah, I want, I, want, I want that. Okay, so yeah, that counts as closer. Good. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Bye-bye. Yeah. If you did not attack this turn, gain six temp armor. And if you didn't move this turn, gain another six temp armor. Wow. One move, minus six power, gain two temp power for every square you move. What? I guess that's... It's good in the event that you run a lot. I'm going to try it out, because so, it seems so strange. See, that's the thing, is we can't, like, do a little a mix. So if we move three tiles, it's a net neutral. If we move all the way, it's a huge boost. So let's hide you in the corner. Okay. I don't know why, man. We'll wait you there. You are probably... Yeah, you're in radius there. Should be maybe a kill. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just, let, we'll just leave that be. Okay, can you... <laughs> you barely even do damage. I don't think that that was a very good upgrade. I really don't. And this is a bummer. We could reactivate, make them go again. They're gonna prioritize what though? Can we check? Where do we where do we see that? I mean it's gonna hit the tower almost certainly. Maybe it'll hit the sorceress. So I guess I'll I'll do the barrel. I'll do the barrel. They give you so many tools to become busted. If you have armor remaining after being attacked, after being attacked, deal six damage back to the attacker. Okay. Uh, first time a rogue takes damage, eight temp armor. At the end of the turn, if the sorceress is next to the warrior, gain four temp armor. If they're next to the rogue, gain stealth. Uh, the spiked armor seems really helpful. Sure. Defensive field. Enemies that attack the rook are instantly destroyed, but not a leader of bosses. At the end of your turn, gain two temp armor for each tower on the board. Kind of a weird, a weird idea that might help, might work. Okay. And this is an interesting one. We can actually see where we could attack. Who are we going to want to kill? Who you want me to kill? I actually like this spot for killing. Going for this one. 
sure thing. Oh, and it happened to be a weakling anyway. Can you kill this guy? I can't get to him. It's just so much damage that's unnecessary, is the thing. You're frozen. For how long? I don't know. But we should prioritize the one who's not, I guess, for now. Move you up. Yeah, I wish I could go for that. Um, fine. I know he's frozen, but he's going to do a little bit up there. I, I could reactivate... This is wave two, though. We, we got a longer way to go. We don't want to just... We don't want to waste everything right away. Good. There's nothing I can do about that up there. That's short of wasting a lot of resources. For something that's... He's going to die. He's just taking down my barrel with him. The warrior takes health damage to gain 6 temp armor next turn. 5 power against missing health. Sorcerer gains 4 temp armor whenever they attack. That's actually pretty good. Don't even know what to prep for there. Nice. Sure. This is a good spot. We'll kill we'll kill that thing up there. You stay, you stay here, I guess. Oh, perfect. Here we go. Now we can finally actually utilize this guy's big buff. Boom. Takes him up to 14. 14, nice and clean. You're going to get taunted. You're going to die because you're... No, you're not going to die, but you're not going to do anything to me. If we give you extra temp armor, though, then he's going to kill himself when he strikes. I feel like that's a really good call. You're not going to die either, but you're also not going to do much of anything. That's the way to go. It's a little bit of a bummer, I guess, up there, but I'm not too worried about it. Big damage coming out there. Nice. Nice. How do you get so much armor, Goblin Defender? I mean, I know you're a Goblin Defender, so that's probably, like, the whole thing. That's all you need to know, but still. Bye bye. Okay, that extra movement is handy. Attacks against enemies with less armor than them deal plus eight damage. That, I mean, that's pretty huge. But he never. I don't. He doesn't have a way to get armor right now, so I'm gonna say no. Unless it's uh, buff on a tie too, and that's a different story. Okay. Fine, 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 and fine. Well, I'll move you there. I'll move you there. Okay. Yeah, these are not the, uh, not the guys I was hoping for. We're actually safe, completely safe here. He can't move very fast. Do it like that. Be able to probably get a good clean attack on him next turn. This and then both of them will theoretically attack me and then 
face problems. I guess we have the heroes this spell, so we could have gotten that for the plus eight. I guess that's the thing. That's what we tried to have uh, maybe done. That reflection of damage, though, is just crazy. Crazy. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it. Next. He's going to attack me and then... Oh, he doesn't die. He gets that armor like every turn. Bye. Not for long. All right. One power for every four health missing. Four health the rook is missing. Ew. Oof. When the rogue destroys an enemy, deal the rogue's power to the closest enemy in range. That's fundamentally busted, man. Especially since he's very much like a an all-in burst kind of a guy right now. The way we're bu building him, that's just super funny. It's all fine. That's all fine. Oh, there's the boss. Hello. Wait, what? Why didn't it... Oh my god. I see. I see your value. Man who moved fast to do big number. I see your value indeed. The sorcerer also attacks plus one other target in range whenever they attack. Oh my god. If an emerald tower is destroyed, the warrior gains one damage radius until the end of battle. That is super cool. So he hits in a... Okay, so he hits one extra tile around, so in a plus formation around it. Gotcha. I mean, second fire is just kind of broken though it's it's broken because it's really strong and it's so usable like it's super usable these three why do they feel so familiar you may have encountered them while they were still alive in other place in time which reminds me you don't belong here do you azaz goodbye dullard demon coward you should have at least killed me with your own hands there they are very big. You could have just went down and crushed it. Wait, that was the whole thing? Nice. Easy. Good. Clean. Level up. What do we got? We got 64. Uh, yes, more movement for more funny. Whenever you damage an enemy, gain an experience. Maybe. Attacks ignore armor. Wait. That might be worth going for. That seems really, really good. The one extra movement for the rogue is like enough, enough to be huge, though. All right. What, what's the deal? What do we want? There's no enemy in attack range at the start of your turn. Pull. Wait. If there's no enemy in attack range at the start of your turn, pull the closest non-enemy elite or boss enemy to an adjacent tile possible. That seems too fun. Yes. It also gets max health for what it's worth. Gains an extra damage radius at a certain amount there. One, two, three, four. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go all in on the Emerald Tower. This is very cool, very deep, customizable.
Evasive tactics while boasting. I, I love how the strength of the last guy is that he gets stronger the longer he's on the board. And I, I one hit killed him. Or not one hit killed him, but I one turn killed him with one unit. With one unit, I took down all of his health. Yes, sir. There's another threat. The northern tribes have marched into our lands, no doubt to take advantage of our casualties. That's most peculiar. The tribes have kept to themselves for almost a hundred years. Why attack now? Perhaps they, too, see an opportunity to acquire our gems. I'm sorry to ask for this, but it appears I will require your services for a little while longer. Okay. I thought you had a boost to... Closest enemy in range? So by that, do you mean it has to be in my melee range? I see. It's still potentially great. Still potentially great, but not as great. This is not currently useful. Should have killed him with this tower, but you know what? It's fine. Let's get the Emerald Tower. Where, though? How about right here? We'll pull him in and bop him. It has to be a hero, right? Yeah, we can't target a tower. I'm not, I don't want to. I was just curious if I could target a tower if I wanted to. That was a little rough. Okay, so it pulls it in, but it's not going to do anything to it until the next turn. Ah, uh, but of course. Very weak damage, though. We'd have to... I can't, like... This is my issue. I can't, like, temp... I want to walk all the way around, but I can't. <laughs> I cannot do it in a way that is technically kind of sloppy and bad. We're fine. All right, what do we got? Restore five health? Maybe. Actually, Barrel Master. Let's do it. Set you in the middle, probably. Move this a little. You can go here. Let's get down our other towers. This is the middle range one. Honestly, sure. Okay, and if we're going to be yanking them in... The radius is pretty big. We're going to be yanking them in. Let's keep it like that. And we'll just do it like that. So we'll get, them, we'll get those both in right now. We have our freeze traps. Maybe we shouldn't care about them right now. Okay. Where's my thief? Okay. I mean, I can do a big kill. Cool. These guys have a lot more health. It's a fun concept. But only in concept, because we are going to get struck. Well, we're only going to take two damage, though. That's actually not too big of a deal. We could even give the temp armor so we don't. Feels worth it. And then you're going to die by striking me. You guys are going to try to attack the barrels. So that all seems fine to me. 
I'm not too worried. Dead. Okay. Boom, bang, boom. Super dead. You have the point blank shot, I think. No, actually, I don't think so. I don't know if I got that. Uh, five temp armor when you destroy an enemy. That actually would probably be really good with... What the hell? No. Uh, very good with um, the kind of all-in approach we have with her. Going very deep in to the enemy's like face. And going for like a, a an attempted double kill or something. That's very good for that. I mean, honestly, it's like, sure. Oh, shoot. That... That pull actually messed us up a little bit. If we can attack from here, that means we can attack from here. fun ah oh, that's so fun that that combines together very in a very very broken way <clears throat> enemies that don't have adjacent enemies take plus four damage for your attacks i mean we could at the end of the turn if the sorceress is next to the warrior they gain four temp armor eh, sure fine i'll go with isolate so if they are by somebody or not by somebody they're screwed if they're by somebody they're really screwed if they're not by somebody they're a little screwed i like it I wish I could see his radius after. Oh my god, there's somebody there. I didn't even notice. Okay. She pierces through armor. Wait, this doesn't... Oh, the... Oh, that's too far. Okay. Um... I'm fine with just leaving that like that. Okay. You can attack or not attack. I, I I guess I'm not entirely positive what happens here right now with armor. So let's just say sure. And then we just leave everything else. Oh, this guy. I totally didn't even realize this guy was here. Whoops. He was frozen, but he didn't really care. I just wanted to have fun with it. If you do seven, I'm assuming you prioritize people. So we made a mistake on that one. Made a mistake on that front then. We could buff it up and, and do it again, but I, I want to wait until the elite. Let's just Let's just make him waste that damage. Seems fine by me. Can you make it in? You can. Oh, you can't move. Interesting. He must have... That's So that's the knee breaking. Cool. You'll usually, he'll usually have 10 armor. Sounds good, sounds good, sounds good. Final wave? Nope. Not quite.
Seems good enough. Seems good enough. We have a freeze trap still, but eh. Love it. Not as much as I love that, though. That's so good. And then we get the temp armor, too. Like, so it's not that risky. Oof. Wait. Is it worth it? Elven mage. Elven sniper. I love that. And they're the same... No, they're not the same distance away. We should have killed them from here. Yeah, we should have definitely killed them from here. Because then we would be in priority range to do that. That's a weird thing to get used to. But we can also just kill them. <laughs> so never mind. Uh, and then for this... I'll tell you, tell you what. Let's just say no for a second. Just sit here. He'll get yoinked in and attacked. Can we destroy this? No. It's weird. Can you get yanked in again? He broke my tower. Wait. No, he broke my barrel. This has proven to be ineffective, to say the least. He's going to attack the barrel, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Plus one move, plus two armor. That's actually really good. Plus one move, minus... <laughs> Wait. This stacks? It stacks? Okay, so let's see here. The red's there. Red. Man, we need to move two spaces back. Or it's more just seven spaces away, so it's... Or... What? What? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to be... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This should work. Theoretically. I'm excited to see this guy blow up. Oh, no! That's suboptimal. That's weird. Why did he move like that? Weird. Still, still good, I think. Not nearly as good. Yeah. He's also got zero attack. Is that just because his cannons are his thing? I think that's why. We could have blown that up. And then had him run, run up there instead. Eh. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. I, who are you going to attack? Because they're both kind of the same distance away. Aren't they? Wait. One, two. No, you're going to attack here. And she has the armor, so it doesn't even matter. I don't know. I'll put armor on you just in case. Just in case. You attacked here? What? 
such a mistake. Kind of. I can't attack. I can't. I've not found a single time where I've been able to attack two people at once with this guy. What can I say? I'm. Uh, I'm feeling a little wild. Okay, we'll move you up. Stop. Psst. Silly. Very silly. Can blow this up. There's no good reason. We're gonna be fine. Like we we are totally okay. But dang if um Mr. Okay, well, first of all. Boom. Sounds like fun. Mr. Rogue is not getting himself very killed. That's almost fine. It's almost fine. I want you to be here. Or unless... How much move do you have? Four. One, two, three, four. <gasps> this is stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. Unless it's not. I don't think... Maybe it's not. Maybe that is good enough. Maybe we're fine. It's going to summon more things. But it doesn't matter if he summons more things if, he, if they don't, like, you know, work right away. Uh, uh. Here. Cool. Because then you can run all the way up here and do your stuff. Bye-bye. This game's cool. This game is very cool. Very deep. Surprisingly deep. When you kill an enemy in range of an arcane tower, it gains, it gains an extra power. When the rogue destroys an enemy, all allied units get a boost. Remove all armor. The warrior can no longer gain armor. It doesn't make sense with a lot of stuff he's got. But it's very cool. Turn him into a, a ranger. Wait. That's really cool. Wait a minute. I love when perks let you change the game that much. But uh, probably something like that. That being said... That is where we are going to be done here for the day. We'll, uh, we'll click through here while I do my little bit of an outro. You can read these if you so choose. Uh, but my name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes. So if that is your kind of a jam, then you got to make sure you do a subscribe to this channel here because that is what I cover mostly. Every single day, I can show you case you uh, showcase you a new game. <laughs> I can showcase you right and done, done do a new game, a new video game every single day. And uh, if you're a fan of the genre, this is the place to be. So if you'd also like more of Defend the Rook, I could absolutely be convinced to play more of this. Uh, the strategic depth of it is very, very, very cool. Uh, and definitely something I haven't quite seen before as well, which is very fun. Um, like, a lot of familiar things, but combined in a way that is truly, truly unique uh, from what I've played, So, which is super, super cool. So, if you want the game for yourself, you can click the link at the top of the description, uh, right up at the tip top, or you can wishlist it. Either or will help the game, obviously. But, my name is Retromation, covering the games every single day. Thank you, thank you. Subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.